Hello and welcome! This video is supposed to demonstrate a new floating system based on geometry nodes for the advanced ocean modifier. Since the dependency graph changes in Blender a couple of versions ago, the old system was very buggy and just end of life. So we needed something else and I built something else and I hope you like it. Let's go through the process. I have two nice little boats here. One is from FX Man for you. You can download that on Blendswap. Thank you for this wonderful work. And a little paper boat I half assed together. First, let's add an ocean. And as always, select the boat and click on GeoFloat. You immediately see the first difference. Now the floatable objects like the boats get instance on the ocean. So it's a part of the ocean now. And in the beginning he only takes the visible object, uh, the one you selected. But in this case we want to use a, a collection. And that one is called Motor Yard. Besides the visible object, the add-on also filled in the float cage, which is this little sphere empty on top of the boat and it added the collision object. In this case, the very first object we selected, which was this bottom part. But you can also create an own collision object if that's needed for your model and put it in here. You will see that every object you have will get its own geometry nodes modifier in the modifier stack. So if we click on the little boat at this height the paper boat now we have two geometry node modifiers here in the stack because that's a little bit tedious to go into the modifier especially if you have many objects on the ocean i added a little menu so when you select and float animation cage you will see all the settings from the modifier in the add-on panel and you can change all the settings that belongs to this object here directly in the panel. Still the job of the float animation cage is to move the objects around, you can rotate and which is kind of new is you can also scale the object. Let me know if that's practical for you. Let's go through all the nice options we have to control the movement and the appearance. You see all the little lines going down. Those show where the ocean surface is detected and from that the rotation and the up and down movement of the boat is calculated and put onto this instant boat. With the first two values we can adjust the size of this in both directions. Uh, we adjust that to the size of the boat. And it's already moving a little bit slower. And not like a paper boat. The detection height, you can typically ignore this value. It's only necessary if you have very high waves, so uh, make sure that those points are above the ocean at all time. The rotation sensitivity for X and Y will determine how much the boat will lean to one or the other side. So in this case, the yard will less move in this direction, so we put that down. The boat will less move from front to back, so we put that maybe to 0.5 and keep the Y rotation, so it will move more left to right than from front to back. In addition, we can set the motion sensitivity. The higher the value, the more the boat tries to slide down a wave or resist moving upwards. For the yard, we can set that down. 0.5 is maybe a, a good value. 
but for the paper boat, which will be a lot more affected by the waves, we can increase that. Maybe to one. So this will move a lot stronger from left to right in the waves, so it will be a lot more affected by it. And last but not least, for this part, you can change the offset with the offset value. Who would have guessed? Let's talk about foam and ripples for the moment. Originally, foam and ripples were simulated effects. It still works for the static object, which should actually called be free object, but doesn't matter. Let's keep it like that. Let's put some static object on here. So if you press play, you should know that if you're familiar with the add-on. It produces foam and we got some waves moving around. This is not possible in the moment for the floating objects. Since Geometry Nodes doesn't support simulations yet in 3.5, we need to fake both object-generated waves and foam. The foam is generated simply by distance. So with this slider you can uh, adjust how far foam is generated around the object. This of course underlies also the influence of the ocean material. So you can further adjust the foam with the, the usual settings in the ocean material. The ripples are very similar to the ripples in the specials menu that you probably know if you know the add-on, but it's a little bit further developed. So the simple case, the ripples generated circular waves moving outwards. You can adjust the wavelength, the amplitude, the outer fall off, the inner cut and of course the wave speed. But you can also change it into a bow wave for moving objects. Show front will display a little arrow showing you what the front is and, and you can adjust the front painting it around the object. And then move the bow wave with the offset that it looks a bit like a bow wave from this very strong motor yard paper boat. You can add a bit more turbulence around the boat itself but it's not so prominent. I know it's not incredibly realistic but for some shots it might just work. That's it so far. Let's see what happens in Blender 3.6, simulation nodes and other stuff I'm working on. Exciting times. Until soon. Enjoy.